Hurricane Ida made landfall in Louisiana on Sunday as an extremely dangerous Category 4 storm, lashing the Gulf Coast with 150 mile per hour winds. Ida gained more strength overnight, faster than meteorologists had predicted only a day ago. Initial reports said the hurricane has left at least one dead in its wake. More than one million homes in New Orleans have no power as the hurricane knocked out all energy transmission lines. All eight transmission lines that deliver electricity into the entire New Orleans area have been lost. Terrifying visuals of the hurricane ripping off the roof of the Lady of the Sea General Hospital in Louisiana surfaced. The vast Mississippi River began flowing in reverse as Hurricane Ida forced vast volumes of water ashore. Most vulnerable towns were evacuated in advance. The Gulf Coast is not only a major base for oil and natural gas companies, but also a vital hub for the nation's chemical and shipping industries. More than 80% of the Gulf oil and gas production was halted ahead of the storm. However, experts are more worried about the refineries and petrochemical plants along the Mississippi River due to excessive flooding, which are difficult to manage. Economists have assured that as long as the refinery shutdowns are not prolonged, there will be only a slight hit on the US economy. Ida is, however, the toughest test yet for people living in New Orleans after the devastation of Hurricane Katrina, which made landfall 16 years ago, killing more than 1,800 people. A federal report.